let's take a look at how we would go about setting up and communicating with the Fluke 1750 power analyzer. Once the unit has been powered, it's been plugged in, it may take just a minute before you can see any indications of the unit uh, initializing into a status that we would be able to communicate with it. As a quick analogy, there's probably a few of us that don't respond real well to someone wanting to have a conversation with us before we're allowed to even have that first cup of coffee in the morning. We need a few minutes to wake up. So when the unit first gets plugged in, we see signs of life as the LED in the lower left-hand corner of the unit uh, turns green. This is just simply an indication that you plug the unit in and it recognizes that power has been applied. So while we wait for the unit to initialize, let's just talk about what we're going to, we anticipate seeing. As part of the initialization, what we'll see is a blue light that appears around the memory card in the upper right hand corner. And then shortly after that, you'll see all of the LEDs that relate to the voltages and currents light up at the same time and then sequentially one at a time. When that has taken place, then we can go back and we can look at our LED in the lower left-hand corner of the unit, and you'll see that instead of being green, it now is flashing green and red, which is an, an indication that it's ready to, to communicate. So we plug in our ethernet cord, and you'll see that that uh, communication link is in place. Now we can go to our software and see if we can't, uh, can't complete that communication between the two. Okay, so now that we have uh, set up our hardware in such a way as it's initialized and from what we can tell, it is ready to be communicated with and everything. We want to look at the software because the software is what's conveying information back and forth with the Fluke 1750. So when we open up the software, a lot of folks will say, okay, so now I should be able to communicate and is it communicating? And they get a little bit frustrated because uh, they don't know that maybe there's one more step in establishing the communications. Let's just kind of follow the course of things and we'll learn something along the way. First of all, we'll go to the 1750 setup. And when we click on that, we see there's a bunch of information that we can fill in. We're just gonna call ourselves Acme Electrical Testing. And there we go. And we're gonna say, hey, I'm just simple circuit, single phase with a neutral, it's 120 volts and it's 60 Hertz. And that seems like a pretty simple setup. We don't need to set up any instrument transformers or anything of that sort, which is what you'd be doing with this. And we can just say, hey, I wanna apply that to the instrument. But we run into a little bit of a hitch here when it says the power analyzer is not connected to the recorder. Now that's a problem. So let's click on that and try and investigate what's going on. We've gone to 1750 setup. We know we can't apply anything from there. The seven, as a matter of fact, it tells us we're not connected. And we kind of confirm that by going to the 1750 live screen where we see that there is nothing being recorded or we're, we're not seeing anything that's being recorded. And again, these top four icons here are grayed out. Well, that's because we're not connected to the instrument. What we need to do at this point is go up and take a look at this field right here in the upper left-hand corner, just above the view recorded icon. And there's an arrow just to the right of that field. And if you'll click on that, you get this pull down screen. Now there's nothing in there but new and edit right now. But if we have connected our instrument through the ethernet to the computer, we may have to wait for just a little bit for that to register. We still don't see it. But if you'll keep checking, then you will eventually see that it populates in there. This is the 1750-40 is an asset number given to it. And if we'll go back to the setup, let's go ahead and refill in that information. Act 
Help me. Electrical testing. And it's a single phase with a neutral. It's 120. And it's 60 hertz. Now let's go back and see if that's if it's recognized that unit being out there and ready to talk to us yet. We'll click on that arrow just to the right of field and look, there it is. And when we click on that, we have now established communications. How do we know that? Well, because as we go and try and convey information to the instrument, Remember what it said last time? It says power analyze is not connected to the instrument. We now say it, and what it tells us is the settings have been saved. Click on OK. Another way that we can go about confirming that it's talking is going to the 1750 Live, and where we saw no information before, it's now showing us the waveform of what it is that it's recording, and it's showing small fluctuations an amplitude of that waveform. So now we are connected to the instrument. We can, uh, if we've appropriately uh, set up the configuration of our circuit and we've made those appropriate connections, we've confirmed them in our 1750 Live. At this point, we can just simply get out of the software and uh, let it record for the period of time that we have planned to do so. And when we come back, we can connect up to the instrument in the same way that we have this time, except that time we'll be downloading data in this lower icon here. But for now, the whole point was to address that there's normally one more step in connecting up to and establishing communications between the computer and the 1750. And hopefully we've covered that in a way that'll keep people from getting frustrated in their efforts to communicate and uh, be able to go on about their work and doing what it is that they need to do. This has been another episode, if you would, of Brett's Bites. Hopefully we've said something that will help you along the way. Thank you.